Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here as a recording of this Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. An already warm Central Florida morning. I am not drinking a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I'm drinking a water that I picked up from the same Starbucks where I usually get a coffee. But decided with the water today, in fact, I'm gonna try to dr stop drinking as much coffee. I'm still gonna drink probably a coffee, maybe two coffees a day. But I feel like I was getting in the habit of every single day starting off with a coffee, but then I started upgrading to lattes, vanilla latte, hazelnut latte, which I still will consume, but I really wanna, you know, not constantly be in the habit of drinking that many calories first thing in the morning, which leads me to my next point. I have been slacking, more of that in a second. I'm inviting you to join me on this little talk and throughout the course of my day, I gotta run some errands. Shall you? And I'm not gonna chug this and crush the water bottle because I wanna, I'm gonna savor the flavor for now. And I have to admit that I have not attained nor come anywhere close to the goal that I had originally set at the beginning of the year. I was doing really good at the beginning of the year on my weight loss. In fact, I'm definitely not as heavy at my heaviest point ever. I'm nowhere near my heaviest point in my life. But I thought by this point, two weeks, give or take a day before I fly out to Atlanta for Dragon Con, I was going to be the healthiest and most fit I have ever been in probably the last decade. I have not accomplished that goal. And I feel unhappy about that. And I wanna do something about that now. So I'm gonna get back on track with that. Now I originally had thought that I would be able to not write down my goals and not really kind of coordinate my efforts as far as seeing them visually on a piece of paper like I had done in the past, but I was wrong. So among a few other things that I'm gonna do today, purchasing a scale, again, I did this when I was in Anaheim a couple years ago, bought a scale, did 100 days, lost 50 pounds in 100 days. So I could see how much I had lost each day. It kept me motivated. I got on the scale each morning. I not only saw it with my own eyes, but I also put it out into the world and it really helped keep me motivated. I thought I could get away with not doing that. The problem is too many cheat days start to creep into your, you know, into your conscious, into your brain when you're not holding yourself accountable. Also, my camera, the Canon G7X that I have right now, has some problems with the lens. The lens is not closing. There is some dirt and buildup on the inside of the lens that I cannot get to and a little, kind of a little speck that's on there that I cannot clean off the top. So I'm gonna purchase a new camera today. I have to go over to Orlando Colonial Drive Best Buy. They have one in stock, so I'm gonna head over there as well. There's a squirrel. Okay, the squirrel, you know, it's funny, when you try to film a squirrel, they always go around the back side of the tree. Oh, there you go, hello squirrel. I was just talking about how you're going around, not the back side of water, but the back side of the tree. See, there he goes. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do, squirrel. You know, it's it's always kind of cruddy when you don't when you don't accomplish what you think you're gonna do, and you just kind of start to slack a little bit. I haven't been slacking too terribly bad. I mean, I've been doing pretty good. I haven't been going completely off the rails, but I have not been sticking to what I thought I was gonna do. So for the next two weeks, I'm gonna go pretty hard on eating really, really, really well. I have a gym membership here in town. I'm gonna to start going to the gym each afternoon, each night. I'm gonna try not to miss a day. I'm gonna get in the force of that habit and not miss a day on that, and not miss a, miss a day on eating well. So that's my plan. And I know it might sound redundant because it sounds redundant to me as well, but I think the worst thing than redundancy making a statement that I have done you know, over the last five or 10 years of my life. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think worse than redundancy saying, I'm gonna do something again and attempting to do something again, I think the worst thing would be not to even try and just give up on it. So that's where I'm at with this. So I just wanna make that statement. I'm gonna get in my car now and drive over to Orlando. This theater's still not open, which is, also, which is also kind of a bummer saw Back to the Future here back in 2008, a reunion. It was the first time I met Christopher Lloyd. I met Bob Gale. And I started to get my Back to the Future poster signed at Claudia Wells that played Jennifer Parker in part one. They had the Back to the Future screening across the, it was a Back to the Future reunion. As far as I can tell, it was probably one of the first times that Chris Lloyd did uh, an appearance and signed autographs for Back to the Future. And I got his autograph inside there. 
But I kind of wish this theater was back open again. Maybe one day. There's always rumors and murmurings around town, so see what happens. All right, there's a fountain over there, always effervescently flowing. Yes, the sights and sounds of downtown celebration. Very quaint and peaceful place to live. I'm really happy that I moved here. Gotta get rid of the belly. And the whole thing. One thing that's always neat about, you know, well not neat, but you know, when you're filming yourself from this angle, you kind of hold the camera like that, make yourself look a little more presentable. But when you see the full body angle, it really kind of puts things into, into perspective. So I kind of wanted to document this too as well, just so over time I can maybe see the changes. So basically, let's put the camera down here. sucking in. But I will give myself a little credit. I am definitely not as heavy as I as I once was, but not where I want to be. Gotta get rid of this. Gotta get rid of the belly. I just feel feel better. I like to feel better too. I think the co I don't know if coffee's like a bad thing. I think sometimes when you drink way too much caffeine throughout the course of the day it might not be the healthiest thing either. I'm no doctor. All right, success. They had one left besides the display model, and I ended up getting it. Again, went with the PowerShot G7X Mark II I've been thinking about maybe getting the Mark III, and there's a couple other cameras that other people I know use that I'm always looking at and thinking, maybe I should get one of those, but I just stick with the old reliable. I like how small this is. You know, you can, you can either have it on the little Manfrotto tripod that I use, or if I want to put it in my pocket, take it off the little mini tripod, put it in my pocket. The Mark II, the Mark III, has a camera input, not camera, but a microphone input, but there's really nowhere to mount the microphone, so it would be kind of gawky, so I haven't gone with the Mark III. Plus, I, I've heard the Mark III, the focus is even worse than the Mark II. That would be the one negative thing I think about the Mark II, is you really gotta kind of calibrate it and dial it in when you're focusing. So if I went from here up to here, it takes a moment to focus, and I have to kind of tap on the screen to, to get it. Sometimes I'll edit that out, sometimes I'll leave it in, but. That would be my only real complaint about the about the Mark II, but I like it. I go through about one of these a year, give or take. You know, give or take a few months. When you use something every single day, it takes a lot of wear and tear, and I'm really rough on the camera. You know, bounces around a lot, throw it in the seat, take pick it back up, take it on attractions, take it on rides, things like that. I drop it a lot. It gets a lot of usage. So I'm averaging about, you know, one camera a year. Based on the price, that's about $50 a month give or take, you know, if you take $50 times the 12, it kind of comes to about the price of what a new one of these is. And I have a few backups, so, you know, in case one, I forget one, I always, if I go on a road trip, I'll, I'll take an extra one. So I have quite a few of these, you know, <laughs> I'll go, I go through them pretty often. I still have quite a few of these in my possession, but I have a new one now. There it is, a little unboxing, brand new. Nice and clean, untouched. Well, I took it out of the box. I mean, I took it out of the box, so it's been touched from there, but... And then, obviously, when they put it in the box, at the factory, comes with a charger. Also comes with an extra battery, so I got quite a few of those. I go through these things pretty quick, too. I always try to buy extra batteries, and sometimes when I take three or four into a park or somewhere, I'll... I've lost them a couple times, so it's always good to have extra batteries. I do have a lot of extra batteries. So I go through these things pretty often. While it seems like a lot of money, it is a lot of money, but when you kind of boil it down to filming every day, you know, it's like a dollar or two a day. You know, the kit, what I, you know, I put aside for the camera each year to get a new camera. So it really kind of makes sense. So you figure about a buck, buck fifty a day to go towards a new camera at the end of every year. 
again approximately every year sometimes it's a year and a half sometimes it's eight months but yeah I really like the I really like this one but maybe one day I'll change it up and get something different and just a couple blocks away was a uh, Dick's Sporting Goods I ended up getting a few pair of shorts I figure if I'm gonna go to the gym more frequently probably should get some more comfortable workout clothes so I've got a few pair of those down in there here at Sporting Goods Place on Colonial Drive next to the Best Buy that I got my camera at. Yeah, I got three pairs of shorts there. A little more comfortable than what I have on now. If I'm going to be going more frequently. Why not? Maybe it'll get me, maybe it'll get me in the mood a little more. And you don't want to mesh with these shorts. Don't mesh. Mesh! Well, it's just a bad joke because they're made of mesh. DCG are the brand names. Got some gray ones, some green ones, and also some lighter gray. Well, I guess these are like a darker gray, but a lighter gray. Adidas there. I got plenty of t-shirts. I don't need t-shirts. Ah, mash! I guess if Sean Connery was saying, don't mess with something, don't mash! Ah. All right, continue the commute over to a Super Target. I didn't say Super Target, just a Target. But I believe it's a Super Target because I have a grocery store and everything inside of it. Kind of modeled after the old Super Walmarts. I ended up getting a digital scale here. I've had one of these before, but no longer have one. This one's up to 400 pounds, so I should, I'm under 400 pounds. So I should be able to weigh myself when I get back to my place. Take this out of the box, weigh myself, and jot down on a piece of paper each day what I weigh at the beginning of every day. Now, this is gonna be, not the beginning of the day, but you know, starting tomorrow, I'll weigh myself in the morning, but I'll weigh myself today and start the little clipboard and the paper off. And I also ended up getting six pack of water that should make more, me a little more intelligent. I'll take one of these with me to the gym today. So I have a little hydration, keep it in my fridge. And then also something for my fridge. Yes. They now sell this in the case. You know, it's pretty tasty water, but the packaging of it is pretty neat. It looks almost kind of evil. An evil petting zoo, an evil water, an evil sparkling water. It almost looks like an alcoholic beverage, but it's not. It's water. Got a case of it. I'll have this in my fridge too. Boy, getting kind of a workout holding this thing up. All right, moving on. Gonna go home and weigh myself. Now there are a couple different options for gyms in this area. One, I have a membership to. One of the other ones is a free gym. It's a little smaller, but the bigger one is over here at Advent Health. So starting off with this blank piece of paper, this blank slate, if you will. And this is gonna be, I'm gonna etch each morning. Obviously it's a little later in the day, but each morning I'm gonna weigh myself, put the date. So I'm gonna weigh myself now and put it right next to the August 16th date. And then as time goes on, this paper will fill up. Now when I go out of town for most of September, I'm obviously not gonna have to, I'm not gonna have the scale with me. The scale's down here on the floor and I have it on the, on the tile or on the, the floor itself and not a cushiony surface because I realized that kind of threw off my original weight. So now that I think I have it set. Because I did have it on here and it just didn't, it, something was not right. It was saying I weighed way less than I did and then I went to the other room where there's also another cushiony surface and it was considerably less weight. So I think you have to have the scale also, I've taken my shoes off and I'm wearing the shorts that I got over here from the from the sporting goods store. So this says 254.8. But when I do it again, it's going to be a little bit off. So I don't know if this is the best scale for me. Okay, 254.8. Okay, maybe we'll go with that. Let me try it one more time. Third time's a charm. Third time for the charm. Okay, 254.8. That's what I'm going with, 254.8. So that's what I'm gonna write down. I don't know if I like the scale 100%, not because it's not what I wanna weigh. Obviously I wanna weigh less than that, but I'm not sure if this scale is completely accurate every time I get on it, but time will tell. I'm gonna go with 254. I'll give it one, I'll give it a fourth try. I'll wait a few minutes, get on it, see if it comes up 254.8 again or somewhere in that Let's ballpark. Let's shift the feet around. All right, 254.8. I'm going with 254, oh, now it says 253.8. I'm going with 254.8. And I'm gonna put a little question mark after it. 
So we'll just see over time, you know, after a week or two, kind of what I'm sitting at. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 254.8 sounds pretty realistic. Even though I said 253.8, when I put it on the mat down here, it like popped up 20 pounds lighter than that. So I think the, the sensors on the bottom of that is what ends up weighing you. So it needs to be on a flat surface, a non-cushiony surface. But again, it's not really all about the number specifically, but I do want to have this written down just so I can, I can see some progress. It helps keep me accountable, if that makes sense. All right, 254.8 is what I'm starting off on August 16th. Not good. Utilizing my phone now. Didn't bring, I gotta bring my camera in here. Got my water here. Well, I've already drank half of it, but got my water and I'm probably one of the last people on earth to still use a corded headphone jack that goes into my phone. And I'm gonna watch the last episode of Better Call Saul. It came out last night. I have not watched it yet. It's like an hour and nine minutes. That entire time, I'm gonna be on the treadmill inside there and after that, maybe hit some weights and, and other elliptical machines. This is a really nice facility. Actually, the gym is up on the very top floor and the two pools are on the bottom floor. Now, also in celebration is another gym that does not require membership that also has a pool. So I'm gonna, you know, diff diff different times of the day, I'm gonna kind of curious this right now, it's about 2 p.m. Shouldn't be too many people in here. That's kind of why I chose to go to this one today. But I'll pop over to the other one at certain times of the day, sometimes mornings, sometimes evenings. But I'm gonna try to stay on track each day. There's also one set. So on the other side of this, there are some treadmills on both sides. There's treadmills all through here. So there's never any, you're gonna, never gonna be in need for you know, any kind of cardio equipment. But on the other side of this, I'm kind of wondering if you could see Magic Kingdom or Epcot fireworks. Of course, you know, it's afternoon now, so it's not gonna happen, but maybe one day when I'm up here at night, I wonder if I'd be able to see them. And it's not gonna be something I film all the time. I'm showing it today, but you know, from now on, I won't be won't be in there. I will be posting stuff on my Instagram, Adam the Woo ATW on Instagram. Might not post anything on there today or tomorrow, but as time goes on, you'll see my little workout post from in here and the other gym. And when I travel, hotel gyms as well. I'm gonna do this every day. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back to my get back to my my everyday routine. Now there is an elevator you can take, but I figure I'm going to a gym, why not take the stairs up the three flights to the top floor? It just makes sense, right? All right, did 65, 66 minutes, over an hour on the treadmill at about a 2% incline and a 3.9 speed. First day back at it, so didn't go too, too incredibly hard on it, but worked up a little bit of a sweat. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this habit going. I'm gonna do my best. Eating better, more cardio, eating way less, a lot more cardio and just even better stuff. And at some point, I think I want to start hitting up some of the pools around Celebration as well. Look at the clouds up here. Celebration has a number of pools I can use with my residence card that I got a few months ago. And there's also inside this hospital, well, inside the, the gym I was just in, there's actually two pools inside there to, as well. There's a heated pool, which is more of like a recovery pool. And there's also a swimming pool for laps. I'm more of a wading kind of guy, not really like a, a lap kind of guy. I could swim, but I'm just more of a kind of just, you know, lounging around type of swimming. But maybe I could start doing more organized swimming. I don't know. Just some things that are going through my head. And then hotels have pools too. So, you know, some cardio and then hitting the pools. It's all a work in progress. And it's, like I said, this is just day one back at it. So hopefully I can keep up with it. That's my plan by kind of announcing it and putting it out into the world, writing it down, it's gonna make a big difference. And that's gonna do it for today. From Celebration Florida, I'm here to announce again for the quite a few times in my life that I've made announcements like this, but I'll try it again. I feel good about it. I was, yesterday, I went over to my parents' house and had dinner with my mom and dad, and my mom said, have you been going to the gym? You've been doing the gym thing. And I started making excuses about didn't want to drive over to said gym. Gyms, there's a couple in the 
in the area. You know, just kind of making excuses. And I got woke up this morning and I started to think about it. I gotta stop making excuses. I, gotta, I just gotta make it part of my routine. Everything I do is a routine, whether it is something good that, you know, feeding my face with good food or eating things that are bad. If I get on a routine of going to a certain fast food place or a certain establishment where they have something that I shouldn't be eating, if I get into that routine, it just becomes a habit. If I can develop a good habit, start of the year, I think I did 40, I think it was 40. It might've been 50, but I think it was 40 days in a row where I was on the road traveling and I was doing the treadmill every night. And I lost a considerable amount of weight just eating a little bit better and doing that. So I'm gonna get back on that bandwagon and try that again. It's all, for me, the way it works for me, it's all about habits. And I can create a habit very, very quickly. Right now, I'm trying to get back on this habit. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. These look kind of unusual with the cord is over. Gotta love Florida clouds, right? It feels like I'm still walking. My legs kind of feel like mush right now. 66 minutes on the treadmill moving at a pretty brisk pace. I wasn't running, but I was moving pretty quick. I was just working up a little bit of a sweat. It feels like I'm still moving. It feels like this is the treadmill. Like it feels like I'm still, still walking. Also the Better Call Saul ending, I don't know if I loved it. I love Better Call Saul, love Breaking Bad, love those shows. I don't know if it was a climactic ending like I expected. Wasn't bad. Tied up a lot of loose ends and I'm glad it ended the way it did. Jimmy McGill, Saul got what he deserved. But yeah, I was kind of expecting something a little more climactic. And one other good thing about going on a treadmill, if I can do an hour every day, I think it'll be easy for me to get back on that on that, tr on that, I don't say, is that off the wagon or on the wagon? Get on the, get on that workout train by doing treadmill or any kind of elliptical every day. Cause there's a lot of shows, like I watched a show today for that hour. There's a lot of shows I need to watch that I just do not have time because when I am out and about or when I'm even I'm home, I'm doing other stuff. So I need to be stationary for an hour. And I think that's gonna be good because there's so many shows and movies that I need to watch. I still haven't finished the I still haven't finished the last episode the last season of Stranger Things. So I'm gonna do that over the next series of days. I'm gonna get through Stranger Things. So I'm gonna do an hour on ellipticals and treadmills and things like that for an hour every day. And just come up with an hour of TV watching or movie watching. I could watch a half a movie one day, half a movie the next day. I still haven't decided on a time frame when I'm gonna do this, hey, should I? And I'm not gonna film it. Anyway, just thinking out loud.